Well, welcome everybody. I'm Cernum and today we're going to be playing some 63 days. Now, I'm very excited for this because this is a game I was given a key for to show off. And while it's been a very long time since I've played anything like this, uh, I really do enjoy uh, these kind of stealth real time tactics games akin to the old classics like Commandos. And that's that's the game play style that we have here today. Uh, this takes place during the kind of Warsaw Uprising. While it's not based on anything particularly historical accurate, as it says in the disclaimer of the beginning of the game, it is very much inspired by that. Uh, and the Warsaw Uprising lasted 63 days, which is why this game is called 63 Days. Uh, but let's go ahead and kick into the campaign. I did play a little bit. I did the tutorial. I did about halfway, I think, through this chapter, and um, that took me about two hours, uh, which was mostly me fumbling around and learning the game and trying to get used to the controls and stuff like that. But uh, there's only six chapters, they do seem to be very long, and I wouldn't be surprised if this is the shortest out of all of them. Plus, there does seem to be some replayability stuff, collectibles that you can get, difficulty settings to challenge yourself harder, and then once you beat it, there's additional objectives and stuff like that, challenges you can do, which is which is pretty cool. Uh, but for now, let's just kind of hop into the game and see what it's all about. Um, it's very pretty, the voice acting is phenomenal. And if you have the love and patience for these kinds of games, then I think this is definitely one that you should be looking into. I was born in 1927 in Free Poland, Warsaw. I am the second son of Józef Borowski and Maria Nizaleski. My father served in the 10th Infantry Regiment from 1918 and then in the Border Protection Corps, Podole Brigade, shortly after. He was a soldier through and through. My mother, in her youth, was a dedicated independence activist. It's no wonder that my older brother and I were raised in the spirit of patriotism and genuinely loved the country our parents fought so hard to protect. My brother, Antony, was a promising sportsman as a child. He did everything he could to get me into Boy Scouts. Otherwise, you'll die reading these books, youngster, he used to say. With the attack by Germany and Poland, my childhood ended. I was 13 at that time. My father was stationed with the Border Protection Corps in the East, so initially we weren't worried. We were much more worried when huge airplanes with black cross wings dropped bombs on our city. That was when the USSR sealed our fate. There was talk on the radio about a joint non-aggression pact. But then I realized, for the Soviets, treaties and agreements never meant much of anything. We soon learned that father had been taken into Soviet captivity. We didn't understand, at the time, what that exactly meant, but we were glad he was alive. We later received a censored letter from him, but only once in 1940. We haven't heard from him since. What came after were years of humiliation. The Germans treated us like animals. We were educated in Polish only during secret classes which were punishable by death. We had mandatory work from the age of 14 in order to build a strong Third Reich. All of our Jewish friends were kidnapped and imprisoned beyond the brick walls of the Warsaw Ghetto. You could get yourself killed for helping them, but we still tried. They were our friends after all. People disappeared without a trace. They were taken at night or kidnapped in raids and driven off at gunpoint. One in four of my playground friends vanished. Like many lads our age, my brother and I became active in the underground resistance. We were so good at our assignments that we ended up working for Kediv, the primary Polish sabotage unit. I can't say anymore. I don't know who's going to read these memories. However, I want to describe our most important operation. We were with the Ocean unit at the time. They're all dead anyway. I was 18 back then. All right. Almost all of us made it here. Valdek didn't, but nobody knows what happened to him. We're still doing this job, though. So, as you remember, Fritz took over this little airfield recently for military purposes. Yesterday, these planes landed here for repairs and to get loaded up with cargo. All of their supplies are being transported east, and we're here to make sure that doesn't happen. But first, someone has to sneak through the garrison and make us a path to get in. The problem is, Valdek was supposed to bring bolt cutters to clear the passage where this damn wall has collapsed. 
and he's not here. So our brave scout has to find some cutters himself. Should be easy enough. Any volunteers? Youngster, you go. You're the sneaky one. You'll be fine. Uh, yes, sir. I'll go with him. Ah, uh, yes. Can't leave the younger brother alone. I don't need his help. Shut up, kiddo. We'll go together. Just don't be noisy. We're gonna be waiting next to the main gate, so we'll be vulnerable. Once you cut the fence, we'll all regroup inside. All clear? Clear. Clear. Hop to it, gentlemen. It's a hell of an intro to the game. I, I think the cinematics are just wonderful. And the you gameplay really is very beautiful. Me in front of the others. What do you mean? Shut up, kiddo. Oh, jeez, sorry. Also, I can handle myself. Yeah, and it would have to be me looking into mother's eyes if something happened to you. You got nice camera rotations, zooming in, tilt, your basic stuff. There's lots of control options for whether or not this operates like a uh, RTS or a real-time tactical game. If I can find a spot to climb over this wall, I could turn the guard's attention away from the gate. I'm going. Fine. Lots of visual lines and stuff. Like this. We should so you can kind of see. For them. This is full of range. Dash lines means they can't see if you're crawling there. Bring over somebody. A line to them indicates that somebody can see them. <laughs> and of course there is a quick save and quick load option, which... Hope not to use often, or at least as often as I tried when I was playing this before. These two characters are very different, they have different abilities and things like that. This guy can climb things where his brother is apparently too afraid of heights and won't do such. We need to find a different way for him in here. This is it. Gotta help this dumb idiot get inside now. Let's sneak around here. Now there is like a planning mode that you can do, which is kind of cool, but I'm not uh, that great at it. Can't do that here. Nope, I already screwed it all up. Now apparently I'm still in the way of the boxes. There we go. As you can see, I kind of have it queued up here. Let's go pick her knife back up. I think I can just kind of cue it and he'll run to the spot that will do it, but I'm not too positive on that. And I don't really want to find out the hard way. One thing a uh, youngster here can do is also throw rocks. I quickly switch over to him. I screw that up. Get back over to you. There we go. Well, he's not looking. We'll choke this guy up. We could use some firepower, just in case, of course. Maybe I'll borrow this fellow's gun. I'm not going to do that. I don't see anything going well. Let's not do that. Oof. Like I said, pretty rusty with these games.
you can't see him because he's just that blind. Good evening, everyone. So let's crawl out this way. Some bolt cutters. Well, whatever works. So our main objective here is to grab these bolt cutters, which this guy walks back and forth, and this guy is, of course, watching the bolt cutters as if it was Hitler himself. Um, and the only way to get to this guy that I know of is to climb up here and rock all the way around. I'm not sure if I could throw a knife at him. You know, there's probably multiple ways to go around doing that things. I'm not sure what exactly I can get away with either. Not fast enough. I didn't think you would hear him die, but there we go. Don't worry. It's really good about reloading for you. Okay, so that plane's not going to work. Oh, I got an achievement for killing a bunch of people with knives, I guess. Honestly, though, I might have made that too, too complicated anyways. He's already dead. Yeah. He's dead. Awesome. Going there. You gotta do something about that body, though. Grab your knife. Hey, you didn't pick up the knife. There we go. Let me just shove him in there. Perfect. This is wandering patrol I want to deal with. I think it's just going to make everything a lot harder. Like that. stood back here and kind of stood there for a second. I think that's my main opportunity. So let's go ahead and go into planning mode. You choke him. Switch over to the other brother. And I think they're going to do it at the same time, which is not exactly what I want. But let's see. Perfect. Go ahead and have you uh, pick him up. Probably faster to put him in there, but. Come on, drop him. Like I said, sometimes it's uh, like right click, sometimes it's left click. By default, the game's set up to like um, real time tactics mode where everybody's the same. I like kind of half strange it just because I'm very used to playing RTSs. So like moving is a right click, but actions are a left click. All right, that went pretty smooth. It took me like 30 minutes to do that yesterday because I was killing him here and it was too close and blah, blah, blah. Forth. We got the guys walking around. Okay, we're we're pretty in the clear then. He is looking 
right there. So this guy sees him. We can't just go up there and throw a knife at him. We're going to have to pull him out. And this guy has obviously a great view of everything. I was trying to throw a knife at him when he stands like here, because I thought that'd be like a really great way to take him down, but I, I couldn't quite nail it, unfortunately. And that's going. To, this is going so much smoother than it was yesterday. Really can't even, can't even start to tell you how much better this is. If you've seen me play other games, you're probably well aware. But that's right, that's why I spent time practicing, because I wanted this to go a lot smoother than it did yesterday. You can't see you're directly underneath the ledge, which I like that. It's The sight lines in this game are one thing that I think are just phenomenally done. Something I would expect from like a modern remake such as this, or a modern entry to the series, the genre, but nonetheless, I'm still impressed. I think if I throw a knife up there and kill him, he'll hear me, so let's bring you up here. Let's bring you up here and switch off. Quick save again because I don't want you guys to have to rewatch anything. Nor do I want to have to replay anything. Up behind him. click on the icon. It's really strange. Come on. You're going to need your knife. Nice. These will work perfectly. Okay, but the knife. Apparently he doesn't care where I kill him. I mean, sure, the gun. He's, I saw him bid down pick it. I was like, oh, this is it. Maybe if I can move the body and get the knife back. If not, that's... Oh, okay, we got the knife back. I don't know why or how. There's a couple different things I can do with the bolt cutters. I can cut these guys. If I click the right brother. There we go. I'll cut it. Yeah. Um, what does it do? I don't know. I, I guess it's an alarm. There's a couple around that we can deal with, but not really sure what they do. Guy has a view over here, which I want to get rid of, so. Got my next target here. Let's go and do the holy quick save. Yeah. 
just throw him in there with his friend. And I think we're kind of okay to head back out this way. So we want to make it over here to this gate and cut the lines. You also need to secure the entrance by killing these three people. So let's, let's try to get these guys. And then we have a side objective here of trying to free all the prisoners. Here's three of them. Here's a fourth one, just petrol gunpoint. Guards, or anything we can probably just throw them over here and be done with it. Maybe. What does this guy see? Not much of anything. He's kind of a terrible guard. I'm going. Actually, you know what? I don't want to know. No, you don't. Just leave. And he runs off the map. And hopefully never sees another German the rest of his life. I'll go up there. Nope, not you. Last time I came up here, I just got up here and real, real quickly just threw a knife at him. It's good to see different ways to get these things. This is probably the cleaner way of doing it than having him shout then get a knife thrown into him. We'll go ahead and cut these because I'm not sure if they're going to do anything or not. Sure, it does something. I don't know what though. Maybe there's a secret ejector for it or something like that. It's gonna sneak past here. We'll need to kill this guy just so we can have movement around things. And I don't see a way that we're gonna be able to kill him without without killing these other people, so. Switch over to the other brother. He can't see us because we're hiding in the bush. When he comes around here, we'll hit him with a knife and alert all his friends. Perfect. Wait, not perfect. No way, 14 seconds ago. <laughs> oh yeah, no, this is... Actually, is quite perfect. Let's drop him in the bush. Drop him in the bush. I don't feel like you're dropping him in the bush at all. There we go. We'll do a little rinse, wash, repeat. Wait, didn't Paul just come over here and check this place out? Well, 
He's not here, so... Oh, 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 oh. It's choked to death. I'm with this friend. And for you... Get down. Remember if I threw a stone to make him look. Throwing a knife, I'm pretty sure that guy will hear me, so. Patience is key. No. That's probably a grenade. I didn't realize it was a half wall. <laughs> My bad. Run. Took a really awkward way, but that's alright. So we gotta watch out for this guy. And that guy too, I guess. Like I said, I don't think I can just come up there and knife him. Would be great. Yeah, he wants to jump up there to do that. And that's a two person job. You're not looking this way? Okay. Well. So with this side clear, we can kind of circle back and get to here. We obviously will need a key for something. Also, um, that guy looks like an officer, so puts him on my list. I mean, he was already on the list because he's a Nazi, but you know. I think we can, before we can really cut the fence and let everybody in. We just need to circle back around. thing I kind of enjoy about these games is you just slowly develop map control. Areas that were completely unsafe are now perfectly fine for me just to kind of stroll through. And there's something about that that's oh, kind of feels accomplishing. Just feels good. That's the guy we kind of need to watch out for, so. This guy never moves from the looks of it. And luckily for us, the second we throw a knife into him, he'll fall into those bushes where no one can see him. Very kind of him to do that. Let's get you out of here. Or he circles back and sees you standing on that roof. Oh, 
Uh, look that way. Well, so much for the rebellion. I'm gonna have more time. And I still think we might if I can click the right buttons. His time has come. No problem. There's definitely ways to be better at this game than me. Very good. Approaching. No problem. But we can kick doors down and kill whoever's behind them, which is pretty impressive feat, really. What the? Don't worry. Everything's fine. Just go away before I get shot because of you. You got some bolt okay. cutters. Yeah. And then there's some over here that I'd kind of like to cut down too. So I don't really know what they do, but how your nerves can't be good. I've got nerves of steel, jackass. You know that. So this guy is somebody we have to kind of watch out for. Stick you. Like there's some guards who are just like staring at a, a wall. And there's some guards who are really doing their job. They're dedicated. They never move. This guy deserves a pay raise. Who are you? from inside. Oh, good God. Oh, good job. Let's stand you here. Take a rock. All right, so just one guard here, is it? Oof, had a sneeze. And then he'll turn around at time, so let's just throw another one. You gotta be getting freaked out. That's three times in like a minute. Locking the gate here. Officers' uniforms.
Somebody choked that man. Fuck him. Yeah, I agree. A nice clean uniform. <laughs> These are the moments that make me glad I'm not as big as my brother. These are the moments you should be glad you've read all those German books. Now I can talk to them and get their attention. Not for too long though, and I probably shouldn't talk to officers. So this gives them a new skill now that you can go up and distract people. Uh, which is pretty nice. You can also walk around and be seen, as long as it's not by somebody with a, a double arrow like that, and I assume we're officers. Go ahead and use the mode that I don't use enough. Those were funsies. Problems from you, asshole. Let's head back down here. I gotta cut these wires and let these guys in. And I think this is about halfway through. This is about what I played to. Uh, like I said, though, this took me like. I think two hours fumbling around. Hopefully I'm doing a much better job of showing off just how fun and, and how well made, how good you could be. Here's the fence. Preparations to be done. Mm -hmm. Go to the. Wait, why us again? Because you have the uniform. Yeah, uh, but you... quit bitching. So what do we do next? Our next step is reaching the hangar. Clear the way and open it for the rest of us. Also, take down silently any guys guarding these five planes. Yeah, we know what to do. That's a lot of guys. There are also some patrols on the runway. They'll have to be dragged away somehow. Hmm. Somehow. Hmm. If we disable these searchlights, they'll notice it for sure, and probably move their asses over there to check what happened. Agreed. That might be our chance. You're smart, youngster. Well, first things first, let's get rid of these two, because this guy's watching too much of an area. I don't get it. There's a dozen of us, and the two of us are doing the job by ourselves. That's because we're that fucking good, brother. No, that's because you're always so cocky in front of everyone, you idiot. Shush. Shh. Nice of him to turn around so I could choke him out. Oh, that's a problem. At least it's a real, very realistic, like, how long is it going to take you to get shot to death? In games like these where person gets shot 50 times and then they finally die it's like okay I'll move up there no problem no 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 I don't get it 
There's a dozen of okay. us, and the two of us are doing the job by ourselves. That's because we're that fucking good, brother. No, that's because you're always so cocky in front of everyone, you idiot. Shh. Surprised that guy's kind of seen him. It's be very bad timing. Very bad timing. Oh, he fell off. I have to fight him? Nah, I brought a fist to a gunfight. You know, you know what they say about the third time, right? Stealthily put him in there. Let's get down. Clearly now would be a decent time to try. But I was hoping to have this to kind of block his sight. Once again, we'll go please. Because maybe that'll help us out. Ooh, that's impressive. It's nice of the camera to do that for me though, wow. that we're good I don't get it there's a dozen of us and the two of us are doing the job by ourselves that's because we're that fucking good brother no that's because you're always so cocky in front of everyone you idiot shut up and focus <laughs> they've gathered tons of stuff here much more than four or five plane loads they're coming back for more they're not flying anywhere anymore, brother. So I could bring this to explode them or electrocute them. I feel like that's gonna get somebody's attention. I'm not even sure how to get in there. Oh, this this door's open, so I guess that's probably the way. Imagine that I need to clear these guys out. Knife to face. Did somebody else hear that? No? Okay, good. Moving there.
You lighting a cigarette? Bro, I don't think this is the time. I don't know if he's going to get close enough for this to work. Hmm. And his friend's all over him. My other option is to sneak up there and try to kill them first without him walking around and seeing it, but I don't know how likely that is either. I'd really like to take him out first, which we could probably be over here. Just have to worry about this guy. You luckily can't see much. the route we'll go for then. I'm luckily maybe I can talk to him from a certain angle and get him to come up and choke him up in this spot, but I don't know how. But dude, this guy's chain smoking. So when I haven't practiced it, you can tell it's a lot harder for me. I think it was pretty close to working, though. Hey, come here. There we go. That that's how it was gonna go in my head the first time. Still getting him past there is gonna be pretty tough. Though I might be able to do it just to you. These guys don't seem to be moving at all. And while they can hear each other getting choked out, it, the radius is very small. There's going to be out just wandering that way that I have to really worry about. And I don't have to kill this guy, but you can probably guess how I feel about Nazis. Go up here and cut these guys. And we're slowly just taking over control of the map. I think for him, what I would probably do is I think I could take these two guys out. No one's really watching him. I could probably talk to him once these two are done. Just choke him from behind and pull him out. What's this now? Should cut those. Let's see what this has to say for us. Be something very important. I have no idea how I'm supposed to clear this whole hangar out. There's a lot of people in there. A lot of people. Arms cut. I'm not sure. It says open the hangar door, but I'm not really sure how I... I'm not doing that. Right there. No, you. I was telling, trying to tell you to come over here. Mr. In uniform, Mr. Can read German. Okay, 
I'm sorry, were you not in uniform? No stone unturned. Okay, I got a collectible. Fantastic. <laughs> well, um, I think this is a pretty good showing of the game, uh, even with someone who's notably terrible about it, like I am. Uh, it's, it's a tremendous amount of fun. Uh, it really is a lot of fun. It's a little stressful trying to do it on camera because I'm trying to do it as well as I can to not look stupid. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you definitely go check it out. If you like a lot of these older games like this, uh, this is a really nice, very nice, smooth, remade version of something like uh, Commandos or many other games in that kind of genre. And it's a lot of fun just to kind of go around and, and pick people off piece by piece. And it's kind of stressful, kind of relaxing at the same time, just to take your time and do your thing. See what works, see what doesn't. I really appreciate anyone who made it this far in the video. It really means a lot to me that people take time out of their day to watch my content, especially these quick look videos where I get to show off games that people typically give me to show off to you guys, uh, which I think is just absolutely awesome for everybody. So thank you so much. Please take care of yourself. Stay safe. And I hope to see you again real soon. Bye bye.